<laughs> so I would like for the library to have more books so that I could read more fiction. The library is the source of feeding the mind. So think about it, if we have more books, the more we can educate more people and it also exercises the brain. Go for it. All right. So I think that there should be more books since the office doesn't let the students have internet password. So I think uh, books are the next next uh, thing to get information for homeworks and projects. Right now? Yeah. Currently, the library have books that are older than 20 years. And we need a book, the brand new book that actually that belongs to us, not our parents. Hey, I'm not much of a reader, but if you can find me a really good book, I'd read it. <laughs> okay, okay. So, I came from America. I got here. I was like, oh, there's gonna be a library. That was so fun. I went to the library. There was n there was only books for like children, like. Just hang on. All right. And then I went there, but there was like nothing. I went on the ground and took paper. And then this is the only book they have, and it said we need the book. So as an English teacher here at Pompeii SDA School, I know that from my own experience, it's incredibly helpful to have books to read and the knowledge that you get from books and just the language, the way you see it in books, you know exactly how the English language is supposed to look. But these kids do not have that privilege. They do not have that ability here because you go to the library and there's absolutely nothing to read in there. It's full of books for like little tiny kids. And these kids at high school, they don't have the resources they need to be able to learn the English language in a way that they can use in the professional world in college. Do you want books in the library? This is the Don't yeah. So this is a library. And it really does look pretty good. You might be thinking a table with some books or something. No, it is not as, as bad as you might have thought. But the problem is, it's books like this. Lots of children's books and books from old times. In general, there aren't a lot of books that we would need. All right, Ashlyn, find the best book for high schoolers in here that you can. Children with Starving Brains, a medical treatment guide for autism spectrum disorder. Enslaved by ducks. <laughs> Enslaved by ducks. The Travels of Barber. Four in the pews. Food and nutrition book from 1967. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that should keep the kids coming back for more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we just want to, first of all, I'm Psy. I'm Ashlyn. We're both teachers here at Pompeii SDA, and we are just asking for books, especially for high schoolers, but any kind of book that the kids might want to read. Um, we just want them to be better at English and actually enjoy reading. So they actually want to read, not that they're forced to read by their teachers. So here's what we need from you guys. We are here in Pompeii in Micronesia. The good thing is the United States still has some ties to Micronesia. U.S. Postal Service boxes actually ship here to Pompeii. So if you guys go to the post office, if you fill out one large flat rate box full of books for these students, things that they might actually be interested in reading, things that might stretch their vocabulary a bit, or just anything that could be remotely educational and interesting, we'd be so grateful. Just think of it like Operation Christmas Child, where you're filling like a shoebox, except in this case it's a flat rate box, and instead of in December, it's in April, and instead of non-perishables, it's, it's books. It usually takes about 9 to 12 days. Priority mail. Because otherwise it'll take about 3 months. I'm going to put the address up on the screen. This flat rate box costs 1890 and it went all the way from the east coast of America all the way here, that's about 8,000 miles. And it's gonna make a huge difference. So please, we're begging you, the school year ends in eight weeks. We don't have a lot of time. What we need is for you guys to try to get this done ASAP. I know it's spur of the moment, I know I'm throwing this on you, but we wanna make a difference here before we head back to the States. America, we need books. So we gotta read and we gotta learn and be educated. Thank you. Thank you.